Welcome back everybody, this is Brother Moon here. Uh, today we're going to continue our journey complete Path of Evil. Now if you recall from our last episode, we were in the sewers. And this is our new sewer setup. Let me get the map up for you so you can see where we're at. We're about ready to leave it. We've already explored everything. Uh, and you can see our map is actually looking pretty darn sway right now. Uh, part of this is because we've upgraded our graphics, which I'm about to show you here in a second. Uh, another part is, of course, we're using our new rig. So let me show you what we got here. So I've changed our game options. These are all high, high. I kept the shadow quality far away because I don't particularly care about the distance looking accurate because who cares about that. So I kept that at medium. Normally this is medium across the board, so now these two are on high. Graphics quality still uh, 1080p. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute. I've kept this on medium as far as that's concerned. Um, by and large everything else is the same. Um, we are in full screen mode. The texture quality is now high. I don't think it was before. I think it was on medium. Um, and the full screen being uh, active is extremely useful. Um, I was having to use this in window mode, and I'll explain why here in a sec. When I loaded everything up, most of these screen resolutions were not here. And then I did a couple things to my rig, as well as imported all my files from my old PC to the new one, which included the game proper. Uh, you know, all the stuff that we have here, you know, the mods, I should say, proper. And all these stuff suddenly showed up. Now, I don't know if it's because I've changed my rig, or if uh, there were some things on my rig, or if it's because I imported all those files, or both. But I got a feeling, whatever I did, I'm very happy, because now this is here like it should, or all of these are. Um, I was having an issue this not taking, uh, and being in full screen mode, which was really starting to piss me off. Now, uh, I could get around that, so in case you guys have the same issue, could get around that by clicking full screen mode off so it was in window mode and then I could do uh, 1080p and it was working again as intended in window mode it was highly annoying that I had to do that but I didn't particularly care um, the detail I think is already much better uh, maybe you guys can't tell just yet you get a chance to move around and see stuff but I, I think from what I remember in the past already that, that my details has gone up quite a bit. We've changed the shades, uh, the shadows a little bit, so that it should be a little more accurate. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with all that. Uh, here's my guys. Stuff is wearing off, so let's actually take a quick knee and get all our spells back. Uh, and then we'll buff up and head back in here. Now I do have my new rig running right now. There's Kabas. Buff it, buddy. Yeah, that's right. You talk about the way you both talk about it yourself, too. Gonna give him the magic weapon. Your command. All right. Now I have everything working now. I think like I wanted, and and even my voice meter banana, which is what I'm using to record stuff, uh, is working, but it's not set up perfect. So you may notice uh, something slightly off. Um, the rig is right next to the microphone, so if you can hear it, you can barely hear it, and that's some good news. Normally I have it underneath, I still have my old PC down there until I get everything off of it, I want to keep it that way. Uh, well, that's nice, that's real nice. This is much better. This is, and this is still, like I did the uh, check, oh, this is, uh, where are we? Is this familiar? And we're at the Neverwinter Academy, yeah, we came out of the hole, so now we can't get back in it, right? Huh. One way path. Well, all right. Well, now we know why that led to. Okay, cool. This would be uh, apparently how you break into here to rip them off and then you have to escape. Uh, we are leaving. Uh, something of note that I did test, and just because I was plucking around for to make sure all my settings were working. Um, I can mug every last person in this building. They do not defend themselves. And some of them have some sweet gear. Now, I'm not going to do it. But if you want to be a murder hobo, I am not going to stop you from doing it. And there's a couple people in particular note. I don't remember the dwarf having a whole lot of anything. I can't damage him. He couldn't hit him hard uh, uh, often enough to be accurate. Uh, if you were a straight-up fighter, maybe. This guy's buffed already. And just to give you some a frame of reference here, uh, I'm already swinging at a plus eight, and I still had a hard time hitting the target. So, you know... Hello, if you're better than I am, then by all means, what do you say here? The Academy suffers before the war with the Shadow King, 
They would have denied me entrance. Uh, yes. You are not welcome here, huh? Oh, boo. Uh, as far as people of worth to kill, uh, I do recall there being some decent gear on Boshnock, the cool kill kicker over here. Uh, and I think one other person, I honestly think it was the priestly researcher, uh, but he can literally mug everybody and no one comes to their aid. Uh, again, I'm not going to do it, but all you have to do is right click them uh, and uh, target attack. And you just go over there and just start wailing on them. Usually it only takes like one or two hits for most of them do, because they're just pansies. Uh, it's possible that there is uh, some decent loot on the guy up front. I don't think so, though. And one of the guards fell in a way where his uh, sack of uh, remains was behind the wall where you couldn't access it. You can't seem to attack these guys for any uh, luck either, because they're pretty tough. So, and I think it was more, they were resistant to all damage was the issue. So, but, again, you can do that. I even checked out murdering some of the people in town. You can murder, like, all kinds of peasant folk. So, again, you are evil. Feel free to... to bust out the evilness. Uh, so far, I haven't killed anybody that was like, oh my god, I can't believe you killed that guy. So, but, uh, here's our town. Again, pretty, very pretty. Nice textures. I, I think, you know, I might be completely way off base here. I think I can tell a difference, though. So I don't know about you guys, but I feel pretty good about this. Um, we did check out, where's my map? Checked out a few things. Let's see if we can sell off some of this useless gear that we have, shall we? Show me what you got. All right, let's see. I have um, silver necklace. I'll check. A little copper ring, sure. Gold ring, yes. Keeping all those things. Gems. Uh, skeleton's knuckle, iron symbol, dark steel ingot. Man, I really wish I could get me a crafting weapon or uh, hammer, smithy hammer. Journal healer's kit, quarter staff, hemlock reward. Like boss, what you got for me, bro? Oh, dust of disappearance. Oh, leather armor. Yeah, right. I didn't have enough money. That's okay. We'll buy some crap from him. I ain't gonna buy that. And I'm gonna get me another stack of arrows. Never hurts to have more of those. Uh, we got a lot of healer kits right now, so I don't think I need to get any of that. Um, oh, we did check out that uh, the cured meat or dried fruit that I picked up. It was basically a, a lame healing thing, so it's not even worth it anymore. Useful to get healing potions. But, what else? See, like this one here. Applying oh, this band will heal you for half your heal skill and hit points. So, my heal skill on this character, on Tan, is lame sauce anyway. So, healing for four. And only being able to do it like five times is kind of bullshit. It should have been like ten times your healing score or something to be useful. Uh, Alchemist Honey, the Grease spell, could be useful, but yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're good on that. Okay, let's come on over here. Okay, let's talk to this character. Uh, can you buy... Oh, anything else I want to get rid of? Uh, I want to keep the hand axe just in case we need a, a bladed weapon on him, right? Uh, I don't want to sell any of the traps that are coming in, maybe. Your command. I'll take this. I'll get rid of the spear. We're never going to use it. Yeah, all kinds of cool shit. Yeah, I'm not even really going to keep the armor staff because, while this is not as plus one e as the other one, the alchemical silver makes it a good blunt weapon. So, oh, what can I take from you? Then I'll get my head. And I might I just take some mini heal potions. There we go. Makes me happy. Alright, commoners. 
Um, so for those of you that are interested in, in how I have it set up right now, by and large, nothing has really changed. But let me point out some borders for you. You'll see everything's kind of like in a weird place, probably from the last time. But I've done that properly because these are the edges as far as my screen is concerned, right? So, like, literally, this is as far over as I can get it without it being dipping into the territory that I can't see. Same with below. So you may see that these are not directly on the bottom down here because my cursor disappears once you go below this part. Same with the side. I can see the 48 here and the numbers here. I see 3, 4. I don't see the 48. I see 4 and, like, the touch of the eight, the very side of it. Four, four, you know, so I don't see all of it. And it's cut off at the top as well. It's the reason that this is where it's at. So I am a little off of the 1980. And here's something, if anyone knows more about computers, which wouldn't take much, explain to me this, okay? I have it set for, for 1080p, right? So I'm very happy about that. It's the same setting that I had before. It may not be perfectly set up like it was before, but it's pretty darn close. Um, I'm recording, obviously, right now, slightly different software even, so this one might even be new for me. But when I record and I uh, edit and I upload to YouTube and I watch it on YouTube, it comes in at 1080p because that's how I record it. And I can see the sides. I can see the top of my characters. I can see you know the numbers that are missing over here. So why is it I can see it in 1080p afterwards, but I can't see it now? That seems weird to me. So if anyone knows what I'm doing wrong on that, by all means, feel free to point me in the right direction because I would love to be having to be able to play in 1080p. That was the whole damn point. So anyway, I'm on a team here. I want to buy some stuff. He's a potion guy. No, he's no, we already bought it. Mm -hmm. uh, you're the potion person, right? Yeah, you yeah. know. No, you're the scroll person. Hmm. And I've gotten everything from here except for Do I have the image? Could I swear I had a yes. Here. Pine trap. Can't do that one. I'm level four. I did not pick it up. What? Well, that's a big mistake on me. Fine now. Uh and I have these other ones, if I'm not mistaken. Go Splendor and all that big stuff, right? Endure Elements. These are probably level one. Yeah. Hopefully, we won't pick. Hopefully, I haven't made a mistake and picked a spell that's uh, Illusion. Remember, I said I was going to specifically go out my way not to. Uh, uh, see, those are considered evocations. So that's good. Pick something that it is. Oh, okay, good. I want to make sure I'm not lying to you guys when I say, oh, I wasn't going to do that. Turns out I just go right around and just do it behind the back. Uh, so. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I feel pretty good about this. We've actually kicked some serious butt. We've, we've taken out everybody I could think of taking out. Man, this looks so much better. Wow, the details are really incredible. And uh, anyway, I was telling you earlier, since I uh, checked the settings on this newest system, this newest ring that I have, and watch this. So there's a, a software program out there uh, that you can find for free, downloadable, and it checks your whole system. So like literally, you, you turn everything off, just you know have your stuff running, uh, you upload this program, and you say, okay, check my system. So it checks your CPU, your, your uh, memory, your GPU, Basically, any little check that it doesn't like hard test it, doesn't try to test it to the point where it breaks anything. It's just a quick and dirty test. Very, you know, various things will pop up on your screen, little pixels and stuff, and then like a little videos will pop up that it's testing everything to see how it handles and responds to it. And then at the end, it uh, pops up in like one of your uh, uh, internet windows, you know, like uh, Internet Explorer or some such, whatever your default is, and it'll give you your score. And it scores based on three different categories of gaming, uh, regular, you know, household work or whatever, PC work, and, you know, like advanced work, you know, like uh, if you're uh, using it for a working computer or like an editing computer. And 
it, it worked, uh, you get three different scores, you know, and you, the scores are, are like, you know, like I told you on my old system, like two out of the three I was coming up with the tree trunk, which is like the, well, you might as well be using a tree's trunk instead of a computer. It was about that bad. Uh, and like the scale changes uh, various uh, numbers or various ways, and like the higher ones are like it's a yacht or it's a, a sailboat or, you know, stuff like that. Well, two of my three are better than before, no surprise because it's a better system, but they're still low as hell. I'm like in a canoe here now, or, or I forget what it was, like a life or after. <laughs> it's some stupid little codes that they had. Uh, but it's definitely in the right direction of being better. And remember, I'm playing an older game, so better is arbitrary. I can still use the same system I have right now from what I've been told, what I've seen online. This rig would be good enough for me to play like Overwatch and stuff like that if I ever wanted to. So I'm happy with the detail. I'm real happy with the graphics now. Uh, I'm happy that it loads faster. Uh, but if you recall from our last uh, choices, we have to basically get out of Dodge, right? So let's do this. And we've never really been to the, the Docks District for any real length of time, so I'll probably need to explore here. This will probably be today's video with my gentle ramblings followed by us doing this stuff. Hopefully I'm not going to get mugged. Pop up the map. Hopefully we don't get mugged just for being here. Uh, Your command. I could probably still do my tracking mode to light up everybody. Nope, doesn't appear to. Uh, but we have exploring to do. Oh, we wanted to see that we never went in here, right? This was like the place I told you, like, way back when. Oh, let's go to the CD Tavern. You know, never end up doing that. Pause the game here for a quick second, folks. My, uh, uh, what do you call it? My heat in my apartment just kicked out, and now it's so loud that the, it's dwarfing the noise of the little uh, computer here. So I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Uh, see, I've actually been trying to upgrade your pictures while I'm waiting, and yeah, the graphics are definitely better. Uh, I got a lot more detail that I'm kind of on these pics. I can't really find a good mustachio man for him. Uh, this is tan, and I'm trying to shoot for it. Um, almost everyone either has a full beard or like no beard at all, which is really starting to annoy me. I was hoping to find something with a red robe, because of his red robes. This is the closest I've found so far was this guy, and I'm actually using him for my character. I kind of seem to fit. I know I might take that back. Let's go to the bottom of the way up here real quick. Uh, obviously not Vimeo, obviously not Orc. Uh, like this one is kind of close. This is the one I picked because of the red. Again, but he has no facial anything, hair, hair, or uh, mustache or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know to find a good one. Maybe I'll just pick a neutral one like this one and just call it good. He is a tiefling after all, so you know the fact that we're hiding his face, I suppose, is okay with me. But uh, let's see. So we got uh, uh, two burly looking guards staying here, apparently in case trouble within. So that's these guys here. Let's go talk to them, shall we? What? Come right here, we'll be dealt with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can we go this way at all? Here so. Okay, now I don't recall being here ever, so let's take a, a quick gander around. Coming for paint around, see seven guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it does look like we've been here before. Okay, this more than slightly drunk as Thurs's words. What do you want? Uh, they were going to holler out, right? Well, let Kavas speak. Oh, great, a drunk sea captain. Never seen one of those before. It's true what they say aboard ship. It's rum in the lash. In the conversation. Oh, okay, got Captain. Van Rijen. Good to meet you. I am Mariek Van Rijen, captain of the Hellish Wolf. Uh, ooh, the Hellish Wolf, that's some uh, name for a ship. Indeed it is, but the Hellish Wolf is some ship. I like her. Okay, the captain's Hellish Wolf crewman. Let's go talk to him. Yes. 
What is his origin? Kremen. Cecilia the Smith. Ooh, hey there. Sorry, you must have me confused with someone else. Okay. So we have a choice of captains, it sounds like. Captain Lucanus. And where am I, Captain? Van and Rijen. Good to meet you. Uh, we're looking for a ship leaving port soon. That's an awfully vague destination. Tan speaks. It means south towards Halara. Captain Rijen speaks. The host wolf is bound for Camelport when she next leaves. That is likely as close as you will find among the captains in port. When do you leave? Not soon. The harbor master believes we are smugglers, so he continues to delay us while thinking of new excuses to try to search our ship stem to stern. The smuggling charge is not true, of course. Of course. If I convince the harbor master you are not smugglers, will you take us to Camelport with you? The harbor master needs to sign our port documents with his seal before we can leave. Talk may not help, but unless we have signed documents, the hellish wolf is not able to leave. If you get the documents, come see me and we can leave. Well, all right. Looks like we got ourselves a mission. Let's check out the journal. Neverwinter, the hellish wolf. Eric Van Rijen, captain of the hellish wolf, will take you to a killing port, provided you get a signed and sealed harbor pass from the harbor master. According to Mariak, this will not be easy, since the harbor master thinks the hellish wolf is a smuggler ship, but we'll just have to accidentally slit his throat and convince him otherwise. Uh, let's go in here. What we got in here, folks? Mm -hmm. Come. Hanging out. Cooking my dinner. Good guys. My keyboard is not where it needs to be. I have to find me a bigger table. Everything's a problem right now. Uh, the keyboard that came with the rig, I should say, as well as the mouse, are both gaming P uh, uh, keyboards and, and mice. Mouse, nieces. Um, the mouse I'm okay with. It's got more buttons on it than I'm used to, and I'm starting to hate that. Uh, but I'll get used to it. Uh, it is nice and it is smooth, so I'm pretty happy about it. And the keyboard is pretty pimp, but it's bigger than my last keyboard. And as such, it doesn't fit on the teeny tiny little tabletop that I had. So I need to, because uh, I have my mouse on the same tabletop. So I need to either get a bigger table or just go back to using my old keyboard for the time being. Which is what I'll probably do until I buy one. Um, it is a shame though, because I'm pretty happy with the new keyboard. So, we will see. That's right, walk through the walls, buddy, and doors. We can do it all. All right, so we need to go find Harbor Master, right? So let's go out of town. And this may video may be a little longer than normal, uh, hopefully with editing, and we'll trim it back down. Uh, but I do want to try to explore this area before we leave town. Because once we leave, we ain't coming back, folks. So let's let's take a quick gander around. We got we got never one to guard. We can, go, we can go this way. Oh my! Look at all that doors galore. Ooh, and a locked door. You know what that means? It means we need to break in. Class, buddy, do your thing. Not getting us any yes. keys. It's probably a key must be needed. Yeah, all right. This is that's not possible. I suppose so. so. Sadly, not going that way. Wandering storm, Captain. Really? What do you want? Looks like you're the captain of the ship. We're looking for passage south out of Neverwinter. They're talking to the wrong person. We're a support ship for Neverwinter's Navy. No hangers on. Never mind then. I was just curious. Man, the graphics are so much nicer now. I did the same thing when uh, years ago when I upgraded my graphics card on that last POS I had. Um, I literally was playing one of the best games ever made called City of Heroes. And I kid you not, guys, it was a sad, sad, we're all crying and we'll never get any better day 
when NCSoft closed it down. It was making a profit from what everyone said. They were making money, and the bastards just said, oh, yeah, well, we're not making enough money, so we're just going to, yeah, we're just going to close it. And they did. Like, they gave us, like, a month's notice. said, next month we're closing the game. So, that's to say it's not possible. I suppose so. Uh, so, it was one of those where it's like, well, why would you do that? And they didn't give any reason. No rhyme. No... We're moving on to bigger, better things. I mean, it was all implied, but it was one of those where they're like, well, we're just doing it, and we can do whatever we want, and thank you for all your money for the past, like, seven, eight years that we played the game. And we were all just totally butthurt and pissed over it. Like, we staged a whole riot, like, on, on the game itself. Like, everyone, should, like, logged on so we could show that everyone cared about the game, and they still didn't seem to give a damn. But the uh, point was is when I got my new... Uh, computer way back when it had the onboard graphics and of course as you guys all know onboard graphics usually suck so when they finally went to what they had was called ultra setting which was about a brand new idea of you know, reflections and nice shadows and just pretty stuff in general and they um what are these guys guarding sorry um Everybody's like, oh, you gotta try the, the different settings, and I tried the different settings on that, that piece of shit on board graphics, and I couldn't see squat. So I'm like, yeah, this is garbage, and they're like, well, just update your graphics card. I'm like, how do you do that? Someone showed me how, so the first, the ever, and only time I've ever touched the inside of a computer to do something was to add the graphics card. And it was uh, the graphic card I've been using. Uh, I want to say it was a 680, a GTX 680, and nothing stellar, or... I mean, it was a 680 GT, something like that. Anyway, um, it was enough, though, to do the graphics, not on ultra setting, but enough to do them on higher setting, and it was like night and day difference. And I'm like, oh, my God, this game is so much better. So you're going to probably hear that from me quite really a bit. So. Hello. Hello. She wants me. All right. So they don't want me. They want me to leave is what they want. And we already checked that door. Is that right? Thank you. Yes. Bro, we did check that door, right? I feel like you did, but I want to prove it to myself. Yeah. What? Alright. Uh, let's see, where are we going here? Pirate Mask, yeah, we gotta go there. Uh, we already killed, or watched the Master kill that one guy over there, right? Yep. Uh, here is a back door to possibly Book Collector. I have to click on it with the uh, kibosses to prove to myself. Just in case. I am very excited about these new graphics, so. Uh, and I'm scoping this area out a little more detail, because once we realize we could get XP for randomly finding nothing, like, oh, you walked into an area, 50 XP points. I'm trying to get all the XP I can, so. Because as you know, level 6 is a stone throws away. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible so we can wrap today's video up. Hmm. See how we're talking. My whole success not possible. We were already in there to grab our book, and I didn't think there was anything else to go back in there for. Smuggling is just giving the people what they want. And you need to say that a little louder when the guards are around you, dipstick. Hell's Wolf Crewman. Yes. kind of weird. I mean, we had all those locked doors that we could open in the other map. You'd think they'd let us do the same over here. But, I suppose. 
beggars can't be choosers, right? Alright, that's the... Yeah, that's where the one guy died. So here's Harbor Master Town, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Harbor Master. Oh, Harbor Master, sir. And I'm glad that it's finally taken hold of the graphics, uh, because yesterday, when I was trying to load this up in the full screen mode, when I turned it to 1080p, it would just, the screen would go black and it would blink at me. You could see the cursor, you know, this thing here, but that's all you could see. And I'm like, what the hell? So, and it did it for like every setting except for the lowest possible setting. And then when I'm like, well, screw this, and then I realized I could go to window mode, and almost every setting worked fine in window mode, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm doing 1080p in window mode from now on, and I set it to that, and somehow it fixed itself. I don't know how I did it. But I'm not gonna argue. I am Harbor Master Lin Linio. May I help you? Ooh, look at all the stuff we can do here. So I can distract the Harbor Master by making small talk while trying to steal a Harbor Pass. Light of hand. Distract the Harbor Master by making small talk. Talk of us tries to steal a Harbor Pass. Diplomacy check. Lore check. Oh, there we go. Craft armor check, appraise check, bluff check. I, I my lore is probably pretty guard good. They did a pretty good slew of choices here too. So if you're a thief, this would be the check you'd want more likely than not. If you're like a paladin or some such, you know, diplomacy check would work. Uh, lore check for those of you wizard sorcerer types. Fighter types would have probably one of these. Craft armor, bluff, or appraise. To save on money or to bluff guys or to you know, make better armor for yourself. But lore is probably pretty high on this character, so let's do this one. Kavas knows you, he has the Harbor Pass. That's fascinating. No, really, I didn't know that Umberly was so active. I had to be going though. So, acquired a Harbor Pass. Let's take a look at that. Oh, Harbor Pass. This is a Harbor Pass that you pickpocketed from the Harbor Master. It will allow the Hellish Wolf to get out of the dock. Boom and boom. We're done here, folks. Let's get out here to the next area and maybe we'll see something cool on the boat ride. Now watch these things running out the building. Hey, that's my hover pass. Can we talk to these guards already? Probably. Captain. Van Ridgen. Come here. Good to meet you. Welcome back. Do you bring the harbor pass with you? Uh, let's set sail. Really? Let me see that. That's a legit harbor pass, all right. Okay, meet me at the Hellish Wolf when you're ready to set sail. Done and done, madam. Take a quick need to get all my spells back. Make sure my team is in uh, rare form. I don't anticipate trouble, so I don't have to really buff up. We'll save the spells for now. She's quick. Look at you, all zippy. I love the water now too. It looks very pretty. Good to meet you. And her pass has bought us passage out of here. Are you ready to set sail? Oh, uh, uh, let's go. Good, Captain Van Rijen. See something behind you on the docks. It appears our harbor pass has been revoked. Here comes the guard. Oh, balls. The guard sergeant speaks. 
by the Thunder of Lord Nasher for the safety of Neverwinter. Erwin Deathlord and any of his compatriots are hereby ordered to surrender to the guard. Captain Van Ridgen speaks. Say what you will. My men and I are leaving Neverwinter, even if it means violence. <laughs> uh, I'm not surrendering. Uh, when Nasher calls a priest to speak to the dead, you can tell them I said no. <laughs> All right, let's pause this. I did not anticipate this problem. That sucked. I should have buffed up. All right, well we're doing it now. Yeah, where's Kabas? All right, bro. Yeah, I'll get started, I suppose. Oh, no, that's not good. That's yeah, not good at all. Come on, come on, come on. Get him, Kabas. Got a beam for you. Oh, take damage, fool. Yeah. yeah. Seems our ruse has been discovered. We need to leave now. Men, we sail for a cannon port immediately. Given how you must have acquired our harbor pass, I suppose I should tell you we really are smugglers. No kidding. I see we're gonna get along just fine. Prepare for departure. I want to get the loot. Boo! Take all my stuff. I'm gonna take a sip of soda now. That was exciting. Broke my concentration though, couldn't cast my spell. So I took a little damage. That's too bad. And now that you have left Neverwinter, several things change in the path of evil. So says the DM. SOZ, death is now in place. Party members will bleed and die. Take this coin of life. Oh, okay. So for those of you who don't know what that means is... Let me pause that real quick before it goes crazy. Um, what this means is uh, bleed and die. You take the, get your health down to zero, you're dead. Okay. But you're not officially dead. You can be healed and get back up. Now, if you go down was like minus 10 or minus 20 in hit points, um, you know, like negative hit points, I mean, um, then you, you die officially. Then you need a raised dead spell or, in this case, a coin of life. A coin of life reactivates it and you, you come back to life. If you get to zero hit points, you fall down and you slowly bleed. What that means is you start taking negative damage. So you go from zero to minus one to minus two, you get the idea. Hell, a bad guy can come over and just slit your throat while you're already down on the ground and do another 10 or 20 and bam, you're infinitely, you know, instantly dead. So there's that too. But by and large, you can get back up if you have a healer on the team and they heal you before you get all the way to that minus 10 or that minus 20, wherever the hell it is, I think it's minus 10. Um, so that's a way to get back up without being healed. You cannot use healing kits, if I'm not mistaken on that. You can't use healing potions because you're dead, or you're down, I should say. Uh, you can use healing spells. Any spell that heals you, or an item that heals you like that, uh, like a spell, can heal you and take you back out of the negative or zero into a positive number once you get to at least, at least one hit point, then you're back on your feet. So that's what that means. So now death is a little more serious. Uh, places that should be dark really are. There are places where the entire map is pitch black. Oh, that's going to be badass. What else you got in store for me, sir? You can go anywhere. Well, many areas scale to you to different extents. Some do not. You can get in over your head, in which case retreat might be the best option. All right, it's good to know. Being an evil, cowardly bastard is what I do best, after all. Alright. Well, with that, we are inside the boat. That ship's light up. What else we got in here? We got a lot of that I want to go check out. 
Fire woke you up? Good. A Neverwinter mage aboard a warship teleported aboard and started fireballing things. Guess they don't want to engage us directly. Gather your stuff and get above deck. I guess that's what the live box is for, right? Ooh, another corner of life. Can we rest? Yeah, we can. So an evil wizard coming around, teleporting on my ship. Mm -mm -mm. Well, what we're going to do is this. We are going to buff up properly this time. Get us all happy. Velocity, velocity, bumps. And I will go Beetle. Start to hit points. And with that, my name is Brother Mutant. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I may hate to leave you on a cliffhanger, but it sure is that you come back the next time. Uh, hopefully we see something fun upstairs to fight. But I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.